Hmm. So, we're coming to the end of the day. If you are leaving early, please note that there's this feedback section. Please vote in these polls. I guess these are all multiple answers, so vote for any statement that you agree with. And this is very important to us. So we know without a doubt we have material here and we haven't gone through it top to bottom like a lectures or slides or something like that. And well, that's sort of well a strategic trade-off we've made because you can read the documentation as well as we can. Um, I think it would be nice if we had more demos or exercises, but like Simo was saying, there's sort of a lot to do before we can really get there. And there's a lot of boring things to say before we get to the interesting stuff. So tomorrow there'll be a lot of stuff to do hands-on, so don't worry. Mm. Yeah, there's yeah. Uh, really good feedback uh, on the on the HackMD. Like, it's really good that you add that there because, like, in the pause, I was talking to Richard that uh, like this kind of a lecture it might be a bit disorganized because we are jumping between the HackMD and the material and stuff like that. But for us, it's also really valuable because then we know how it's from your side of the uh, situation. Because uh, for us, we see it from the situation where we've accustomed ourselves to the system. And it's it's sometimes really hard to see the other side of how does one see the system when you don't know any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, put please put uh, like... Uh, uh, instructions there or, or whatever you you would uh, require because that will help us improve the course uh, a lot basically already in this course there's lots of like really good feedback that we will be uh, updating for the later later courses mm -hmm. and 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 also I want my answer like there's good uh, comments about like how the sites are like the stuff is different in different universities and this is kind of a, like a byproduct of like this course used to be only for Alto and then we oh. wanted to make it uh, more inclusive and have all the FCCI sites uh, with us uh, friends in the FCCI because like we want everybody to have these kinds of uh, uh, stuff mm -hmm. and, and also uh, like to, to share basically like yeah. what we were talking at the start of the day and it is uh, important to note that like we haven't see also seen necessarily like how this material looks from the outside perspective <laughs> so it's good that you put the the stuff there so that we can work together in the FCCI and we can uh, we can uh, like try to create documentation that is uh, common yeah. for all of the sites but but also remember that like there's philosophical things underneath here, such as like the queue system, the uh, queue, like the interactive jobs, non-interactive jobs. So if you know that okay, these kinds of features exist, you can then look at the fine detail uh, later on. But mm -hmm. it's important to know that okay, these kinds of stuff exist because then you know how to look for it. Uh, so so it, like, even though if you had problems with the exercises do do know that uh, like later on once you start using the system in your own work you can figure out the fine detail oh. uh, quite quickly usually yeah it would be one of my dreams that clusters could be more similar I mean really it's such a bad uh, bad for learners that Every time you go somewhere else, you have to learn new commands. Like Slurm itself is pretty similar, but then there's all these custom commands and procedures and so on, which, I mean, if you think that it's different in Finland, imagine when you go to other countries, it's even worse. So... Yeah, it, it's I'm, often the X, XKCD situation where you have... 10, 10 standards, competing standards, and somebody says that, okay, we should have one standard for everything, and then you have 11 competing standards. So so mm -hmm. it's it's very hard to usually like figure out something that works for everybody. Yeah. Uh, and that's uh, like, uh, but the under, underlying layers, they are usually the same. So so basically the 
uh, similar things happen in similar like different places so you should be like the knowledge transfer is is quite easy once you learn it one in one place yeah and um yeah like i think that in this kind of thing i mean we don't expect you to know everything after this course like i think that any given course of this length you're not going to be able to directly go and apply it without referring to other things but i'd hope that we're able to somehow show you what it looks like and what consideration so you're able to go and read the other instructions much more quickly and efficiently to answer things but yeah 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 but yeah should we close off there and uh uh yeah tomorrow we'll have like like today like it, we had we went through the test the stuff already installed there applications might mm -hmm. uh, vary on, on different sites storage solutions might vary on site uh, but but there's uh, there's some storage space is on every site uh, every site has slurm uh, you can run interactive stuff there command uh, arguments might vary between sites mm -hmm. uh, but but still like the overall thing are the same and tomorrow we'll talk about serial jobs how to monitor the jobs how to uh, run parallel jobs how to run gpu jobs and uh those are an array jobs also so we have lots of stuff to cover yeah. still uh but hopefully we get it through yeah okay um well if that's all i guess we will see you tomorrow yeah yeah i hope it's tomorrow it is right yeah, yeah. Uh, okay think, yeah <laughs> okay yeah great thanks a lot yeah and bye. bye for now please continue answering feedback stuff <laughs>